So we'll see how we do on the drop and how the payment processor on Phil Arca Canada is. I think like four or five pairs. Check out all pairs, yo. As you guys can see, it's the Jordan 12 Golds. The Space Hippie ones in the Gray Vault colorway. Easy V2 Boost 350 in the Zion colorway. So I'm gonna have to go manual and see if I'm fast enough with shot pay. It's also my highest chance in copying the Jordan 4. So let's see how we do on the livestock drop. It's Brandon Kicks and I'm back with another episode. Welcome back to episode 12 of the Hyperneur series. I apologize for not uploading for around three weeks now. Basically what happened was the first week of August was absolute garbage. Everything was a brick. And then for week two, we had the Jordan 1 Satin Snakes as well as the Jordan 1 Japans. And those two were a massive cook. And I did manage to get a couple of checkouts and those two drops will be included in this episode. But I've just been a little delayed for about a week on the editing and recording and stuff like that. But basically, I will be back to uploading weekly after this episode. Also, before I get into the episode, I've been noticing a lot of people asking a lot of questions in the comments on my videos on proxies, servers, AYCD and whatnot. If you guys do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and DM me on Instagram or comment down below. I'll be sure to help you out with that. And don't forget to use my discount code BRANDONKICKS to get discounting prices on everything linked down below. But that's basically all I have to say for today and let's jump right into the episode. So I'm heading to Yorkdale right now. Apparently those are shock drop at Champs for the Yeezy Zions. I just called full size run. Let's hope they still have some pairs. I'll just be showing you guys what I picked up and how many pairs I got. So basically I got three pairs of Yeezy V2 Zions. I got a seven and a half and two size eights. By the time I got to the store, all the base sizes sold out. They're not too bad sizes, but they're not the best. I was hoping to get six or six and a half. I actually called Champs literally right when they opened and they said they had them in stock. So I went to Yorkdale and there was a real line. So I don't know how these people got there so fast. Probably they have Champs plugs or whatever. All right, so for today's pickups, we got a bunch of shoes. All of these are Jordan 12 Golds. So I got in around eight pairs so far from Falaki Canada. I still have a couple, around five coming and one pair from Courtside Sneakers. I'll just be showing you guys the shoe again real quick. If you guys didn't see, the last video, I have a little bit of a longer review in the last video of the Jordan 12 Golds. But yeah, I got a size 12 in. I have one more coming in, but men's sizes are pretty much a brick. I pre-sold these all on StockX already. The GS pairs are still doing pretty well. They're holding pretty well as well. But yeah, GS pair. Basically, we got one pair. So eight pairs in total, and that's basically it. Next up, we have some Fear of God Essentials from S-Sets. I copped around 15 volleyball shorts. I've already pre-sold all of them, so a bunch of this stuff I'm showing you today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys now and shipping them out tomorrow. So that's why I'm doing this unboxing really early on in the video. Anyway, if you got a pair of the Fear of God Essentials Volleyball Silver Reflective Shorts, the other colorway, which is the Iridescent colorway, these are actually kind of cool in terms of material. Kind of remind me of swim trunks. And lastly, we have the Jordan 4 Off-Whites. That came in the mail today. Super clean box, it's size seven. If you, guys, if you guys didn't watch my last video, make sure you guys go watch episode 11 because we did cop these Jordan 4 Off-Whites for retail, so that was super hyped. But it does come with three different color laces. Here we do have the Jordan 4 Off-Whites. Quality on this is insane. Here you guys can see the cream bottoms with the little minty 
minty touches of the Nike logo in the front. Super clean colorway. I'm probably gonna be getting rid of these real soon and then buying my own size, which is 11 and a half women's. Yeah, give you guys a little look on the Jordan 4 Off-Whites with the quotation air right there on the midsole and the Nike Air tab on the back. I'll show you guys the other side because the other side is way cooler with the zip tie and the tag. But anyways, let's jump right back into the episode now. So I forgot to do a little rundown on what happened on the Sneakers Taiwan drop. So I'll be doing it alongside with the recap on Sneakers Canada right now. So basically what happened on Sneakers Taiwan was that I ran all of the same size, which was size nine. And that probably wasn't the ideal strategy to go to because the biggest size Sneakers Taiwan even got was size nine. So I was hoping to get big sizes, but I think stock was just too low and running like 70 to 80 tasks on one size is probably not the ideal strategy, but it is what it is. And on Sneakers Canada, I had I think 70 or 80 entries in as well, but it still wasn't able to hit. A lot of people are saying that accounts are big factors in copying on sneakers, and I don't think that's really too important as most releases are fill releases, which are basically raffles, and you get around three minutes to get your entry in. So running more accounts will just increase your chances. In a couple hours time, we do have the foot size drop. Basically right now it's around 6.30 a.m. I'm gonna go back to bed and wake up at 9.30 and see you guys on the foot size drop. What happened on foot sites was foot sites was super hard to cop. This drop was kind of similar to the tie dyes where stock really wasn't that high and a lot of people didn't hit. But I was really glad that I was still able to hit two pairs, one size eight and a half on Foot Locker Canada and 11 and a half on Foot Locker US. So I've been testing my profiles and I'm finally glad that I'm not getting any more PVs whatsoever. A lot of people are saying that they toned down the add-in on foot sites, but I don't think that's the case. I think it still comes down to your profiles and how your profiles um, act towards Adyen and what Adyen thinks of it, if it's fraud or not. But basically, recently for the past couple drops, I haven't been getting any more PVs. So if you guys do want me to drop a foot sites PV guide, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys can get this video to 100 likes, I will drop the video and the guide. I would like to share my setup with you guys and how you guys can avoid foot sites PVs. But in an hour time, we do have the livestock drop and it's the last drop of the day for the satin snake ones. Livestock's probably gonna drop some super whack, double question again. And hopefully we don't pull an off-white Jordan 4 and mess up the questions again. But we'll see how we do on the livestock drop in around 15 minutes. Yo. 
You can check out loop again. That livestock drop was absolute garbage. They didn't even drop the two question support. So I guess the two question support is actually super important on drops like this where a lot of people are trying and it actually makes a big difference. Anyways, I'm not gonna stress livestock too much because I was just too slow manually solving the captcha because I had this captcha loop again. I don't know why it keeps happening to me on livestock, but it did. So it is what it is. Tomorrow we do have some Jordan 1 Japan drops. The stock is gonna be low, it's gonna be super limited. So one pair is gonna be a pretty big cook, but we'll see how we do tomorrow. So since we didn't have that many cops in this episode, I decided to add another segment of pickups. It's just some stuff I got from the reshipper and some delayed pickups from Falaka Canada. But basically here we have another three pairs of the Jordan 12 Golds. Nice five and a half, three pairs of them. I already sold these as well. So I will be shipping these out pretty soon. I did get a couple of Jordan 12 Goats that I didn't cover in the unboxing because I shipped them out a couple of days ago, right when I got them, just because I pre-sold them and I wanted to meet the deadline. Today, I also have a couple of things that I got from the reshipper. It's been a while since I shipped back. The first item we have is the Cause Take figure. This is the Cause Take figure in the black colorway. I was hoping to get the pink, but we ended up with a black, still super sick collectible and a cool display piece. Next up, we have a Kith Monday program shirt. Uh, I did get this shirt off camera and it's the Kith Tokyo Landmark T for their brand new Kith Tokyo opening store. We got another pair of the Jordan 12 Smoke Grays, size nine from the reshipper. Lastly, another Jordan 1. I think these are Royal Toes from the last restock from a while ago, but yeah, size nine, Royal Toes. These actually went NASA. These shot up like crazy, especially GS pairs. I'm holding like 18 pairs right now. And that's basically all the pickups I wanted to show you guys. And let's jump back right into the episode. So it's after the shop fight drops on the Jordan 1 Japans and that drop was absolutely garbage. A bunch of sites had problems with shipping rates such as DTLR and Jimmy Jazz. You couldn't even get shipping rates no matter how you did it on bot, on manually. I don't know what happened to their website. They'll probably drop it later in the day again and fix the site. I think Shop Nice Kicks actually didn't have any problems. I should have ran that site instead of DTLR or ran it simultaneously. Usually I like to stick to one Shopify site because I get to focus on solving the captures and everything, but I guess we'll run two next time. And recently I've been seeing a lot of people hit Shop Nice Kicks, uh, so I'll probably start to run their site as well now. Basically this whole Jordan 1 Japan this morning was pretty much AL. And that's basically it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did make it this far into the episode, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Next week, we do have a couple pretty big drops, such as the Jordan 5 Bell Airs, the Sean Watherspoon A6 Gel Light 3s, as well as the Sneakers Canada drop of the Jordan 1 Japans. Those three drops are gonna be a huge cook, so stay tuned next week for that, and you guys will find out how I do on those drops in the next episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yes.